Hey folks, welcome back to another tutorial video for Pokemon Brown. For those of you who cannot figure out the process from my previous tutorials, or really need a step-by-step -step guide, um, this is for you. I wish I didn't have to do this. Anyway, step one. Open a new tab or window if that is your preference. Go to pokecommunity.com. Register an account. It may or may not be necessary in order to download the file. I don't think so, since you're actually downloading from a different site. But register an account anyway, so you can give Cool Boy Man, me, Mr. Mustard, and uh, whoever else is involved their proper kudos. Also, twinge in terror. Anyway, scroll down to Creative Discussions. Below that, Emulation. And into that, Hacks Showcase. Scroll down, you will find Red Hack, Pokemon Brown 2009, Final Dungeon Released. Go to number one, page one, and you will find this. The list of updates for update number four, and then 4.1, 4.2, and any future updates that may come up after I make this tutorial video. The latest version will always be linked right here, Presumably with a slightly different name right there. In order to download it, you click it. to find Pokemon Brown 4.0. Download it now. Go down here, you'll have a zip file. If you're using Firefox, you'll have some sort of download pop-up thing, unless you have an add-on that makes it a toolbar like that. Read this. Take a note. This is the process, just in case you stop watching right here for some reason. There's a couple glitchy issues that are also listed around here. And yeah, give these people kudos. It's awesome. Close that, go back to here, and you've got the IPS patch. Drag that into the same folder as your old version of Pokemon Brown if you're updating, or a new version, or a new, or a new clean ROM, uh, if you're starting off anew. Um, I'll show how to replace the old version of Pokemon Brown first things first, since that's what most of you are probably going to be doing. Here you got the old ROM, old patch, old save. Delete the old patch. Don't need it. Then grab your final patch, have it named whatever you want. Copy. And then do basically the same process you do whenever you're doing a normal batching operation. You just have to rename the save file to the same thing as well. You'll open that up, and trust me, it's all good. You got your stuff. Uh, by the way, this final, final dungeon, very, very hard, has very high levels. It's up to the 80s, 90s, and possibly beyond. This team will have a large amount of difficulty. Screw training, I'm going to do it with this name. Uh, anyway, if you prefer to go to the Lunar IPS route for having a completely cr clean English ROM, or not using an old one, say you did Lunar IPS for the last version as well, it's no problem. Open up Lunar IPS, and here's how to do it if you're really that stupid. Lunar IPS. Go to here, download it, unzip it, drag it into your... Wow, I have a lot of folders open. Um, this, this is totally awesome, by the way. Go in here, and uh, open up Lunar IPS. Choose Apply IPS Patch. Choose your new patch. Choose your clean English ROM, not the old one. And you'll have it successfully patched. But if you do that, you won't have your old save file along with it. So copy your save file, paste it, and then simply rename it to whatever your fresh ROM is called. Like that. And once again, let's demonstrate. Ta-da! 
totally simple easy once again do not ask me where to download roms that is well first off it's illegal but you know, i'm pretty sure we all know that by now and two it's against youtube's terms of service to do to share that kind of information and it's a simple google search away it's not hard so that's that uh if you're feeling not very confident train up 10 20 levels if you're feeling a daredevil like me um don't train but i can assure you that this final version is very fun this very this final dungeon it's difficult it's complex has a bunch of different cool items even has its own sort of mini plot of sorts uh the reward for doing it definitely well worth it so uh, i hope you guys will all try it out if you don't i pity you so uh is there anything more i can say uh once you've beaten it or even tried it out go into here post a reply a quick reply whatever saying holy shit awesome this, this is great thank you for doing this probably one of the most if not the most advanced hacks of Pokemon currently in existence, but will probably be outdone by Cool Man's next hack, Prism, which is already sort of in development and has version 2 out. Whatever. It's good. Go do it. Awesome. See you guys. Oh, right, when I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm, I don't want to start this up in the middle of the week, and I will be gone on a trip next week. So I will not be starting my playthrough of this uh, until, I guess, let's look at the calendar. Uh, that's today. Right here. I mean, right here. August 10th is when I will start. So that's all that. I will see you guys next time.